and uh, parametric var uh, for single asset in Excel, uh, we have uh, the same data. Uh, now, he, how we can calculate a conditional historical var? Now, in historical conditional var, uh, we just need historical var like this one. We, I have already highlighted this one. Uh, now, we can get it. The first is uh, first method is you can get it manually. That just take the average. Uh, before this, uh, all those numbers that that are occurring uh, before this one uh, means before historical var. Uh, this is the data and just take its average. Now, in second way, uh, you can use average if function. Now, average if function. We have this average if function first range. Uh, for example, uh, we will take uh, this C column, uh, C4 to C253. That should be less than percent, and then this is your impression and then the uh, uh, value where we want to compare it this one and just close the parenthesis so you can see that we have the same answer or even we can uh, use average and simple average function with filter command now equal to average uh, this is again a simple average now filter And then uh, select uh, this range again, C4 to C253. This is the range where we want to filter. And uh, now we should mention condition again, the same range. C253. And that should be less than minus 0 0.0395. And even uh, we can put a message or comments if we were unable to find. Now, uh, you can see that in three different ways we can get this uh, historical conditional one. And the second one is uh, historical, uh, sorry, the second one is uh, uh, Gaussian or parametric conditional war. For this purpose, we need capital Z. Uh, we know that uh, this Z can be small z, you can get with the help of normal inverse function. Now we need capital Z. For capital Z, here you can see the formula in this formula. Uh, uh, if I zoom up, now this is a formula 1 by a, 1 by 2 pi under root multiplied by a exponent of minus half multiplied by z square. Now basically uh, this has uh, three terms. So first term, I will calculate it first term. P, B, and C. Now, first term is 1 by level of significance, 0 0.05. The second term is 1 divided by 2 multiplied by pi function and raised to power, power 0.5. And then <clears throat> the third term that is exponent in exponent of minus half multiplied by uh, this z square r2 now just multiply uh, these three terms by using product function and just like the range that is very much easier now this is your word i know this is basically your capital z 
Oh, after getting this capital Z, we should multiply it with standard deviation for relative uh, conditional var and for absolute conditional var. We will uh, also account for average uh, returns as well. Now the first one <coughs> here, uh, this is basically uh, your uh, eleventh numbers that I have explained in theory part. Now just multiply this Z value with duration of the returns. So this is point uh, zero four six. It is uh, just uh, a resemblance with the, is very much resembled to this one. Uh, now uh, for adjustment of uh, average returns, just add this average return. Now we have calculated this one. Just delete this one. Uh, in the second part of this video, uh, now uh, if we adjust it for skewness and cortices, uh, this is uh, that I have explained uh, here uh, in very much detail that uh, it is called uh, Cornish Fisher adjusted value at risk because we will have to adjust for skewness as well as cortices. And again, uh, we will first find uh, simple var and then uh, conditional var. Uh, for simple var, uh, we need uh, uh, this uh, Z SK. SK means adjusted for skewness and curve, and then capital Z, uh, it, it would be for conditional var. Now, uh, for uh, uh, to apply this formula here, we need Z square as well. So first we calculate uh, Z square, small Z square. Here is Z and then power two. Now, we need skewness as well. For skewness, we calculate this skewness of uh, C4 to C253. And we will also calculate cortices by cort function. And again, with the same range. Now we have Z, small z square s and k. Now we can uh, put all these values in this formula. Now look at this formula. We have how many terminology? One, two, three, and four. Now just we calculate these four values A, B, C, and D. And the first we have just Z value that's uh, this one minus 1.645. And then in B, we have Z square equal to this one, Z square, Z square minus one, and that is multiplied by skewness divided by six. And in third term, we have again Z value, small Z value, this one, that is multiplied by, uh, here you can see that we have Z square, uh, this one, I have already this number, and then minus three, and that is multiplied by k by twenty four, multiplied by vertices, and that is divided by twenty four. Um, because when we have complex formula, we should break into different parts. Like I have break this formula into four different parts. Now the last part we have minus z alpha equal to minus then Z alpha, this is what Z alpha, and that is multiplied by uh, two, and then that is multiplied by Z square, this is Z square, and minus five, and that is multiplied by, uh, just a minute, uh, here we should have parenthesis as well. Uh, I will again, I will put this parenthesis, Later on, then S square R2 and then divided by 36. 36. And here uh, I should place parenthesis here before this uh, two. Yes, this one. Now oh, just add all these three, uh, four numbers. 
Now, this is basically uh, your small z that is adjusted for S scale. You can compare it with the, uh, this uh, simple z value that is 1.64. And now, after adjustment of uh, uh, skewness and adjusted, uh, it is very close to 1.62. Uh, now we can calculate uh, a simple value at risk that is adjusted for skewness and cortices. Uh, we multiplied it by now this is the value and uh, just for relative var we multiplied it by this conservation. Minus point zero three six, and for absolute part, definitely we uh, will adjust it for uh, ret average return as well. Uh, now, now for uh, just move it to here. Now we need Conditional uh, value at risk that is adjusted for skewness and cortices. So we need capital Z SK. Here we need capital Z and plus uh, this one. So we have how many terms? One, uh, two, three, four, and five. Now we have five terms. Now just one, two, three, four, and five terms. Now, first we have capital Z. Now, this is our capital Z we had already calculated. Then we have uh, one, number one. Now, in C, we have this one Z alpha, or Z alpha, this one. And multiplied by S units divided by six. Now, uh, third term that is uh, one minus two multiplied by Z square, this one, small Z square, and that is uh, close the parenthesis, and then that is multiplied by unit square. R2 and then that is divided by 36. Now the last term we have uh, minus one minus one then plus uh, z square this one small z square that is uh, multiplied by Cortices divided by 24. Now I'll add all these five items. Oh, so this is basically our ZSK. This one. Just move here. Now it is adjusted for skewness. Now uh, then we have conditional value at risk that is adjusted for skewness and cortices would be this one multiplied by standard deviation. Now the last. Uh,